Welcome to part four, our final segment on finishing the fleece patchwork lap blanket tutorial. Okay, so now I have finished stitching together all four rows of our fleece patchwork lap blanket. As you can see, all of the intersections are um, vertically stitched together the four rows. So we have a four by four patchwork blanket. We've attached all of the intersections of the squares with double knots. And now we're just ready to do the finishing touches. So this is the easiest part. We will take our fleece strips and again lace our plastic needle and we are going to start in the lower right hand corner of your fourth row. Just make sure you're working on the right side again, which means on the side where the tactile paint is around the holes and where you can feel the ridges of your um, overcast stitch in the intersections. And so I'm just gonna start in the lower right hand square in the very corner and I'm going to go top down through that corner and pull the ribbon through, leaving just, oh, an uh, inch and a half tail, and then come up over the top note. So all we're going to be doing here is creating the running stitch across the top of this square. Um, we're not attaching anything. This is just purely for decoration. So I'm going to go down through the top over the edge and down through the top. It's the regular running stitch that we've been doing. And I'm going to continue to do this until we get to the intersection uh, where our, where our um, stitching occurred to attach the square one to square two in this row. Up again, and I'm coming toward the intersection. So here I'm at the intersection, and once again I'm going to go through the same holes where my other fleece ribbon is already through um, that goes to attach square one to square two in this row. I'm just going to put my needle through with my ribbon, pass it through onto the other side, and then you'll have two tails and simply tie a knot, double knot. And then you have that nice pretty trim along the edge. You should do this on every side along the outside of the perimeter of your fleece blanket, tying knots on the intersections as you go. Okay, and so I got to this intersection and I've threaded a new um, ribbon fleece ribbon through my needle. And here, in order to do the overcast stitch on the second square, I'm going to, again, start in the same corner where my last uh, fleece ribbon came up through from this intersection of squares. I'm just going to slide my um, fleece ribbon over so that I can put my plastic needle and ribbon top down through right next to it, pull it through, and just leave your little bit of a tail, and you can tie it with the other two tails, and they're already there. And then I like to double knot just to make sure it doesn't come undone. There we go, you can pull on it to stretch it out if you need. And then, so now I've got those three tails at that intersection, and I'm going to just keep going with my overcast stitch along the edge of the second square, the perimeter of that second square down. And then you're going to keep going until you get to your next intersection and do the same thing, starting a new ribbon and tying your three tails in a double knot. So another tip, when you get to the end of your row, 
and there's no intersecting uh, square on the bottom. The last stitch, you're going to come up and go top down just as you have the other for the overcast stitch and leave your tail there. And then when you start going from right to left uh, on the next side of the square, remember to go down through the same corner hole that that ribbon just went through. So I'm gonna go down through that same corner hole where my last ribbon just went through and loop the tail and then start doing the overcast stitch on the other side. So this is so that the two tails gonna be right here on the corner on the same hole and you can tie a little knot. Okay, and then that's how each corner of the four corners around the perimeter of the blanket should be done. Okay, so I have completed doing the overcast stitching along three sides, three, three sides of the fleece blanket and have this remaining side where our clips are. Um, and once you're at this point, you can remove the clips that were to identify your row numbers because you will not need them anymore. And continue with your overcast stitch to complete the four sides of the blanket. And in order to remove these clips, you simply feel um, there's a a rounded edge that is toward the center. Just push that towards the outside of your blanket and it will slip off. So again, that rounded edge, just push it toward the edge of your blanket to slip off those clips. Once you've completed the overcast stitching on this last side, your fleece patchwork blanket will be done. We have many styles and colors and patterns as well as sizes of fleece blankets to choose from. To learn more, go to www.mitsukit.org.